Every time I show one of my old transformations, people go crazy in the comments saying Where are the old videos, JLX? Because I didn't post them on YouTube. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how I transformed myself into Yasuo. As you already know, staying in a stable job isn't really part of my skill set. That said, the cosplay will stay cheap. There's no reason to get an expensive costume if all the Naruto run events are cancelled. So, cheap cosplay, here we go. What do we need for this one? Okay, I'll First, any blue shirt, towel, doormat, or oversized unwear. The one ripped jeans, aluminum paper, for the parts that should probably be made of some way more resistant metal. And of course, my jack of all trades, my toy sword. Well, this part was very tricky, since this kind of samurai scoring is actually not comfortable at all, so I had to practice for a while. But 24 days later and way more flexible, I was now able to do the proper posing. At this point, I was able to start working on improving the costume on Photoshop. Now the shoulder pads look actually useful, but yet I couldn't help but notice that there were still some small differences. By no means I would let things stay like that. I had to take an attitude. There was only one honorable way to fix that. Which was obviously just to edit the fat out. There's a reason I'm not the athlete, but just a super duper impressive editor. We are in the digital era. Step our game up, bro. What do you think, eh? This is my cousin Guy from the first video. He doesn't speak English, but he has very good feedbacks about the videos. So I always like to ask his opinion. Now, I had to transpose my beautiful figure to the 3D universe, which at first didn't really work out, but I guess that's good, good enough. enough. But as you know, Yasuo is not only a samurai, but also an alcoholic, so I thought, why not? Okay, by now you must have already noticed by the look in my eyes, something's up with my mental health since the last video. Maybe my girlfriend broke up with me? Maybe. Maybe we still live together. Don't judge, okay? I couldn't afford a full rent, and if you can, you are privileged. I don't really care, but weren't you supposed to be good, Jalex? Weren't you supposed to do all for Jesus last week? Huh? It was time to do the moving parts, which are very, very darling to me. Because this includes the hair. This is where I like to take my time, be very zealous and careful. So this time I decided to implement a technique that was developed by myself a long, long time ago. And the computers were made of wood and gravel. I call it Yasuo. Or you already seem to understand that I'm not really good with the acronym, so to summarize it, just the hair dynamics applied to a ponytail that I found online. And that's what I call cinematic realism. So it was time to finish the environment. To do it, I would need some things in the background. Some ground materials, fogs and smokes to help with the mood. And I know one very good place to find all of this stuff ready for me to use. And for my surprise, they agreed to sponsor this video. Thank you everyone! This is my second sponsored video ever! I think you can call me YouTuber now. It is a site called Footage Creek. They have a lot of useful assets ready for production. So download a bunch of them and put it on my environment instead of creating everything by hand and wasting a lot of time in the Process. So if you are interested in this kind of stuff, take a look in the link in the description. That way you can help me and I can help you. They have free and paid plans. Take a look and see what works best for you. I use it in basically all the videos that I create. And now, enjoy the final video.